What's up guys, my name's Brandon and today I'm going to show you how to change your wallpaper automatically on iOS 16, either every single day, every couple of hours, or simply by doing this, by just simply tapping on the lock screen that will change your lock screen wallpaper along with your home screen wallpaper. So in previous versions of iOS, if you wanted to do this, you had to use the shortcuts application. But now with iOS 16, it's actually built in to the new redesigned lock screen menu. So we're going to talk about how to do that in this video. All right, so first things first, you want to go to your lock screen or just swipe down from the top to go into your notification center. They are the same thing. And then just haptic press or long press in the middle of that. So you pull up this menu right here. We could see all of your previously created lock screen wallpapers right there. We're going to go all the way over to the right until we see add new. From here, we're going to tap on the plus and we're going to look for the purple photo shuffle option tap on photo shuffle. And from here, it's going to pull in some featured photos that Apple thinks you might want to use for this feature, but we're not going to use any of these people, pets, nature, any of that. You don't need to uncheck them, but we do need to do is go down here to select photos manually. Tap on that. You want to go over to the albums tab right here and then go into your wallpapers album. Now, if you don't have a wallpapers album, you need to go out of this, go into your photos application and create an album specifically for wallpapers. That's going to make this whole process and all future processes much easier. So once you're in here, you will be able to select up to 50 different wallpapers. Now I do wish this was more than 50. I wish Apple allowed us to do like 150 or 200 since I do have a lot of wallpapers. So you will need to be pretty selective. So I'm going to go all the way to the top because that's going to be the most recent. And from here, we're going to select all of our wallpapers that we want to be included in this photo shuffle. So instead of just individually tapping them and that's going to take forever, just simply drag like this and then drag down and you will select all of your wallpaper. So I'm going to select my 50 most recent wallpapers right here. And once you have 50, you can see down there, it shows 50 photos selected. Once you have that tap on add, and then you'll be brought to the customized screen right here, where you can customize all the wallpapers. So you can pinch to crop, so You can move these wallpapers around if they are big enough to do so. You could also add the filters to them if you want. And keep in mind, this applies to all wallpaper. So if I, you know, select black and white, and then I tap to go to the next wallpaper, you'll see that black and white also applies to that one. So keep in mind that if you add a filter, or if you add a crop, or if you add widgets, you could add in widgets right here. So we'll just add these, this is going to apply to all of the wallpapers. Same with the font. So we're going to change the font for that. And if you wanted to add a widget up top right here, like an alarm, you could do that. And again, it's going to apply to all of the wallpapers. And if you want to see all of the wallpapers, you could tap down here in the bottom left, it will show you all 50 of them. And if you wanted to delete one, you can, or if you wanted to select a certain one, you can, if you wanted to maybe just like crop it or something like that, that's how you do it. And then also down here in the bottom right, of course, is the shuffle frequency, the perspective zoom and all of that. So I have mine set to daily. I think daily is the best. Just that way you, you know, wake up to a new wallpaper every day. Your wallpaper changes every day. You can set it to on tap or on wake or hourly, but you're going to run through your 50 wallpapers very quickly and they're not going to look, you know, as unique or as fresh and special. So I personally recommend daily. So we're going to keep that on daily. After that, we're going to tap on done and it may have to save them, especially if your photos are saved to the cloud and not necessarily on your device. So give that a minute if that is the case, and you will see you have set as wallpaper pair or customize home screen. Now, if you set as wallpaper pair, you will notice that when you go to the home screen, the wallpaper changes as well. So for instance, if I go back here and I go to customize and then do this to on tap, just so I can show you guys an example. So if I tap to go to a new wallpaper, you will see that the home screen wallpaper also changes. So we're going to go ahead again, tap again, you can see the home screen wallpaper changes along with that. Now, if we were to do customize, so let's go to customize. So if we go to customize home screen instead, and we choose, let's just say like a, let's just do a color just so I can show you guys the vast difference. So we're going to do like a, just an all white wallpaper, just like that. So if we do that and tap on done, now all of a sudden our lock screen is going to change, but you could see our home screen does not change. So we're going to tap again to change it, go back to our home screen. You will see that it only changes the lock screen wallpaper. So if you want to change the home screen along with the lock screen, I would recommend that once you tap on done to select set as wallpaper pair, that way it changes both the home screen 
and the lock screen. And if it doesn't change back for whatever reason, like mine is staying white right now, just go in your settings, go to wallpaper, and then go to customize on the home screen, go to customize current wallpaper, and then just tap on original and then tap done. And now it will change back and you can see every time I tap on it, it will change back and you can see that the wallpaper changes. And then after you go through your 50 wallpapers and you're kind of getting tired of the wallpapers and you want to replace them with new ones, all you need to do is tap on the little menu over here on the bottom left. You will see your 50 wallpapers right here. You're going to tap on select, select the wallpapers you either don't want anymore that you're getting tired of. We're gonna tap on those and we're gonna tap on delete. And then we're going to go to add photos down here in the bottom left. We're gonna go back to our wallpapers album and we're gonna select some new wallpapers that we want to be added in to the mix. So that is essentially how you change your wallpaper automatically here on iOS 16. It is now built in. It does not require shortcuts and shortcut automations to run. Now, this is nice because of that, but at the same time, you are missing out on some of the more specific customizations. Like with automations, you are able to do every, you know, change the wallpaper at sunset or at sunrise, like a specific time. But with iOS 16, the built-in features, it's just daily, hourly, on wake, or on tap which is cool, you know, it's built in, it's not gonna require as much work, but it is still not as customizable as it was in previous versions. So hopefully Apple does continue to add on to this. I do think that it's awesome that it's built in now. I do also hope that we see an increase to maybe, you know, 100 to 150 wallpapers that are allowed for this feature to be just more robust and to offer more, you know, selections for all of our wallpapers, especially if you do tap to change, it's gonna go through really quickly, go through those 50, very quickly but nonetheless it is really cool and of course if you guys want to get access to my wallpaper pack i will leave that linked down in the description below those were some of the first like these wallpapers right there in that first wallpaper collection of course i will have other wallpapers linked down there as well but if you guys enjoy this video i would appreciate it if you give it a thumbs up also make sure to subscribe for a lot more ios 16 tips and tricks just like this one and also i want you guys to leave a comment down below what is your preferred shuffle frequency is it daily hourly on wake or on tap which one do you prefer but anyways guys thanks again for watching and i'll see you soon